hi, my name is Tom Einhouse. I'm the Vice President of Facilities and Capital for Playhouse Square. Um, I started here in 1980. At the time that I started, none of the theaters were operational. Um, we were just getting the plans together to uh, do the restoration of the first theater, the Ohio Theater, which we brought online in 1982. Uh, that's 1,035 seats and was put together as the home for the then Great Lakes Shakespeare Festival. The next theater that we put together in 1984 was the State Theater, and we're sitting in the lobby of that theater right now. That theater, uh, this theater actually, and the Ohio Theater were both uh, designed by Thomas Lamb, a uh, famous theater architect. Um, they both opened in 1921. In fact, all the theaters in our historic portfolio opened up in 1921 and 1922. The uh, State Theater restoration was completed in 1984. It was kind of a restoration. It was really a stabilization of the theater. Um, it wasn't until uh, this past, well, in 2015-16 that we really completed the restoration and uh, accurate decorating of the theater. Um, the next theater that came online was the uh, now what we call the Connor Palace. Um, the Connor Palace is a 2800 seat theater. Um, it was a uh, B.F. Keith's vaudeville theater and it was uh, designed by Rap and Rap. And we did a uh, complete uh, restoration and, and uh, upgrading of that theater and it opened in 1987. Um, as the three theaters we're going strong. We focused on developing the neighborhood. Um, Playhouse Square Foundation now owns a million square feet of commercial real estate in addition to the theater complex, um, plus a hotel and a uh, 750 car parking garage. So part of our enterprise is real estate development in the neighborhood. Um, it was in 1998 that we did the uh, restoration of the Allen Theater, which was built by the Allen Brothers in 1922 for film, and the architect of that was C. Howard Crane. Um, that theater uh, was then repurposed again in 2012, um, keeping intact all of the historic fabric that we restored in 1998, and it now serves as a multi-venue uh, space for the Cleveland Playhouse, which is the large or the oldest uh, operating regional theater in the country, 100 years old. It got the regional theater Tony last year. And um, that theater uh, was designed by, oh, as I mentioned, C. Howard Crane. And uh, the theater across the street, the other historic theater in our, in our portfolio is the Hannah Theater. Uh, Hannah Theater opened in 1922 and was actually the Broadway house for the city until the State Theater came online in 1984. Um, we have repurposed that theater from 1,500 seats to now 550 seats with a thrust stage. However, we did use historic tax credits, so all of the historic fabric in that theater is still intact. It has a beautiful thrust stage that comes out into the uh, audience chamber and uh, provides very unique seating. Um, all in all, the, from the rescue um, till now, this project really started in 1973, 72-73, um, was rediscovered by a man named Ray Shepherdson. Uh, Ray was working for the school board at the time, looking for a place to hold a meeting, and rediscovered these theaters. Um, the interesting part of the history um, there's many interesting parts, but I think a unique uh, pivotal point was the State Theater where I'm sitting today was within hours of demolition. The demolition contracts had been let. The crane had been erected in the parking lot next door, complete with the wrecking ball. And but for the efforts of a few attorneys to get an injunction to prevent the wrecking ball from crossing the street, there would not be anything here today. Had that wrecking ball swung once, it would have been the end of what has become a very important performing arts center in the United States. Um, with the second largest capacity, besides the historic theaters, we have 10 stages, um, 10,000 seats. We serve over a million guests a year. 
and we have operated in the black for most of the past 30 years. So that's the Playhouse Square story in a nutshell.